everyone. My name is Saif Hamid Abboud. I'm a PhD student in University Technology of Malaysia. I want to express my gratitude uh, to give me this opportunity to participate in this important uh, conference, seventh international conference of interactive digital media. Thank you very much. My paper title is Automatic Classification of Diapathic Retinopathy through segmentation using CNN. Our outlines is introduction, methodology, experiment and results, conclusion. First of all, introduction. Diapathic retinopathy DR is the leading cause of avoidable visual loss in people of working age in developed countries. The disease global prevalence is estimated the rise at an exponential rate reaching 529 million by 2030. This is concerning for worldwide national health care. As it affects people's ability to work, putting the economy in jeopardy. As a result, it is vital to provide cost-effective and successful method of screening patients which when combined with collaborative treatment has been credited with lowering the incidence of legal blindness in the working age population. Diapathic retinopathy diagnosis in early stages is very important to develop an effective plan of treatment. Ophthalmologists classify manually the fundus images using the word health organization classification standards, the automation of a classification procedure in medical images and in particular fundus images classification help the radiologist and uh, ophthalmologists or opticians in their diagnosis and reduce enormously their interventions. This is three images about how to use the Diagnosis through images. The first automatic classification methods was machine learning. It was taking long time because it's need pre-processing step and handcrafted features by experts. It's not auto uh, feature extraction, but it handcrafted by experts. The accuracy of classification is depending on the extracted features, which is depend on the expert competence. So this is machine learning figure, the steps of machine learning, which is contain five steps. Input, feature engineering, then feature the, the extracted features. After that, traditional machine learning model then give the output. This is the, the comparison between the machine learning and the new deep learning, which is remove three steps, feature engineering, extracted feature, and traditional machine learning with DNN. based on presenting learning. So we will have in deep learning three steps, input, then DNN or neural networks, then output. CNN convolution and neural network is the most useful deep learning method, which is one, one, one of different, different types, uh, types of uh, neural networks, which is uh, CNN convolutional neural network they have been used to solve different complex issues in various uh, applications we have some applications of uh, cnn and different applications like uh, object detection object detection in the images and videos and some different applications and uh, then localization then localization 
the most important application of uh, convolutional neural network, segmentation, object segmentation, and uh, classification, which is shown in this, uh, in this figure, and medical image applications uh, like medical image analyze and uh, disease diagnosis and uh, prediction and like that. Here in this figure, we have CNN in diapathic retinopathy classification. How we input the fundus image from the data set, from training data set. Proceed to the convolution neural network, which is consists of uh, multi multiple layers, multiple convolution layers, and uh, pooling layers, and fully connected layers. Then giving output methodology proposing an automatic classification system for five stages of diapathic retinopathy we have five stages in this disease in diapathic retinopathy which is uh, normal there is uh, which is mean no diapathic retinopathy mild and moderate and severe and proliferative diapathic retinopathy. We have used IPAX dataset from Kaggle to classify the retinal images. And we have adapting UNET method for feature extraction from fundus images, which will contain also segmentation and uh, feature extraction. Here is UNIT uh, architecture for image classification. UNIT, along with the merging of the region and using convolutional neural networks designed for diapathic detection. This is a, a simple definition about our, our system that we have proposed. The architectural design, key benefit encoding decoding of UNIT, which is shown in this figure, we have Downsampling and upsampling, which is called encoding and decoding, is that it can take a border context into consideration when planning for a pixel based predictors. This is the shape of our system, our model, input image to the system, then giving maps feature, segmentation map. Here we can see the flowchart of the work, how we will do the classification of the apathic retinopathy uh, from the first step, which is input the image to the pre-processing, which will contain color channel normalization and image enhancement, like con contrast uh, enhancement and uh, remove noise. Then we'll proceed to the uh, region data merging, with, which is consists of image segmentation and feature extraction by using UNIT, with our proposed method. Then CNN classif classifier diapathic retinopathy detection, then giving output. Here the main uh, the main flowchart of the work. Uh, I will I will talk uh, uh, briefly about uh, some main steps like pre-processing and UNIT and and training and classification. Here is our pre-processing step. We have in our pre-processing in this figure, we show that, that in this figure, we have a data set. It will, it will go to the normalization from the 512 by 512 to 480 by 480 images, images size, then enhancement the images which is shown in the last of the figure so this is a processing pre-processing step then we have training training network uh, which we have training images uh, go to the training options we have some images uh, from data set which is a train the network uh, to know what is the 
five classes of diabetic retinopathy, normal, mild, moderate, severe, and proliferative diabetic retinopathy, which is a proceed to five classes. Then we have a classification, test the images and for the trained network. Classification by using unit, uh, our, our proposed uh, method. Experiments and results. The proposed classification model is implemented in Python on a computer with specifications of uh, 16 GB RAM and Intel i7 CPU 10 generation. So from dataset to uh, which is IPAC from Kaggle to training parameters, then classification accuracy prediction. Here in this figure, we have a uh, we have to take some uh, some informations. We have to take an idea about the classes and the features of the diabetic retinopathy, the IPAC fundus image data set from Kaggle used to train the network and test the network. The data set is collected in US by different experts and competition sponsored by California Healthcare Foundation. So we have here the images, image pre-processing and segmentation. The features which is extraction, which, which will extract is blood vessels. This is the main feature of the apathic retinopathy. Second is exudates. Third, microaneurysmus or hemorrhoids. Which is the five classes of diabetic retinopathy depend on these five four uh, uh, features, like a number of some features or two features together, which is a result for one or two or two class of uh, diabetic retinopathy, normal, mild, as we said before, normal, mild, moderate and severe and proliferative diabetic retinopathy. Here we have a table of, uh, of testing the, the network, the model that we have proposed. So in normal zero, the training data set was 41 person, testing data set was 8% correct classification, 84.423%. Mild, di mild diabetic retinopathy, training data set 50%, testing data set 10%, correct classification 81%. Moderate diabetic retinopathy, 2, 49 training data set, 49%. And 8% in testing data set and 92.4 correct classification. Severe diabetic retinopathy, 53% in training data set and in testing data set, 10% and 86% in correct classification. PDR, proliferative diabetic retinopathy, 4, 41% in training data set and 8%, 8% in testing data set and 88.72% in correct classification. Mean was 86.74% uh, in correct classification. This is the two figures of testing. In test one, we have shown these five uh, five stages of the apathic retinopathy. And in test two, we have also these figures of the apathic retinopathy. This is the retinal images. Actually, this figure, this, this uh, ball figure, is the human retina. It's the human, the, is the shape of the human retina. It's like, it's like ball. 
we have here in this in this surface of this ball we have the features we have the blood vessels we have uh, we will see the uh, exudates microaneurysmas so on conclusion the paper proposed an optimal model for diabetic retinopathy detection we used unit approach to, de to design this model it was also observed that pre-processing of diapathic retinopathy images is very essential to get proper features. So this is the main information of our paper, which is a unit is our model. Unit is the model that we have proposed in this paper for diapathic retinopathy detection. So we have noticed uh, that the pre-processing of the apathic retinopathy images is very important and essential to get the proper features and feature extraction. So the, the, the neural network will notice and ex can extract the feature easily. Applied the model with image preprocessing for an interpretable diabetic retinopathy classifier. Pre the system was able to classify various diapathic retinopathy stages with an average accuracy of around 94.2% and sensitivity of 97% and specificity of 96%. The proposed framework not only allows retinal fundus image to be classified into uh, five diapathic retinopathy stages, but it can also produce significant scope pixel maps for each class to allow professionals of ophthalmologists to deduce as well as perceive the results. Thank you very much for your time, for your listening. Any question, I would be happy to uh, answer these questions. Thank you very much.